Hello everybody, how's it going? Christian from The Coin Dictionary here. Today we're going to be talking about the 1958 Philippines 50 centavos coin. Just a brief video on the value, all the information about the coin, everything you really need to know. And we'll start with the design. We've got the Republic of the Philippines seal here. It's by the central bank. Um, you know, just their crest, nothing too spectacular there. Um, and then here we've got um, a lady wearing a dress. Um, and we have Mount Mayon in the background. She's got the hammer, the anvil, um, and yeah, 50 centavos from 1958. Now, this is part of the Philippines, which is in the Pacific. Um, the coin we see here was made in 1958 and 1964 with this design. It was half of a peso, 50 centavos. Um, 100 centavos is one of their pesos. Um, it was demonetized kind of shortly thereafter. They switched to the peso, which they have today. Um, in 1967 so the peso was from 1857 to 1967 um, did not last this is a nickel brass coin it's 10 grams in its weight and it's got a 30.3 millimeter diameter so pretty similar maybe slightly smaller than a u.s half dollar um, and of course the united states was kind of colonizing or, or kind of the protectorate of the philippines up until world war ii uh, it's coin aligned so you flip it over this way um, there were only 5 million of these minted uh, compared to 25 million for the 1964 issue. And this coin is probably worth about a dollar in this condition. Um, an uncirculated one is probably going to be up to $5, but it's not silver. So there is a pretty finite cap on how expensive these can get, but interesting and a relatively low mintage as well. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian and I own The Coin Dictionary and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date Precious Metals Pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as What'sTheGrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.